essentially the idea of Renew Newcastle is that it's a permanent scheme for temporary things. Anyone who has an empty building can uh, make it available and in turn we can, on terms that they are happy with, make it available to artists or projects or community groups. Loop Space is a uh, new commercially driven sound and digital media, it's a long word, contemporary art space. We had the idea that we wanted to have a photo dedicated gallery, um, so we show photos only in here. It's also called the House of Photography, so we want it as a meeting place. I guess we wanted to create, um, we wanted to experiment with architecture. We wanted to create a space that was um, uh, an exhibition of architecture, but not necessarily a reproduction of it in the form of models and drawings. Um, we wanted to create a, a space, um, a, a sense of architecture, um, how it feels to be in architecture. I used to work in Newcastle in the 70s and it was a bustling one mile of uh, shops. You couldn't get down the footpath, it was so busy. And then the main shopping centres opened up in the suburbs and uh, parking was a problem in town. It just got harder and harder as the years went by and the shops closed one by one and it turned into a ghost town. Essentially our, our system is kind of designed around simplicity so we find properties that are available and match them to uses. Architecture has one of these things, there's always utility, there's, a, there's always a function involved. Um, so for us to do this, um, it was you know, effectively get rid of the function and, and purely create a room that is you know, wholly devoted to producing an experience because it doesn't have to function as a, a shop or a you know, doctor's surgery or have a specific program. People telling me, even while I've been here for the last few weeks, that uh, they never come into the mall. They don't have a reason to come into the mall or into Hunter Street because they can do everything in the suburbs. So they have to force themselves or have a, a very distinct reason to come here. This is the old Fletcher Jones building. So this was a clothes store. Um, and inside here, um, there are six, no, there, are, there are five changing booths, changing rooms where people used to put clothes on and stuff. And we had the kind of bright idea of converting those into sound booths. Nigel Hellier is a, is a sound sculptor. Uh, he's probably the most recognised artist here. He has a work upstairs called The Naughty Apartment, which is based on a Russian novel. It's an interactive work where you pick up a small handset and walk around nine different rooms in this particular apartment. And as you walk around, the device picks up the story of each room. Newcastle's always had a really good DIY culture. You know, what happens in Newcastle is this kind of constant pattern of people kind of coming up, particularly younger people coming up and coming through, um, being pretty disappointed with the place, having to make their own fun, make their own entertainment, make their own events, make their own projects, getting really good at it and then leaving, and leaving behind a bit of a vacuum that another group of younger people comes up and comes through and does that in. It was a pretty, pretty ratty spot actually, um, really uh, standard, you know, standard size uh, shop for a space like this, um, white commercial suspended ceiling, you know, about a dozen fluorescent lights bearing down, stainless steel sink, you know, ugly tiles. Uh, so the first step was actually ripping off that ceiling uh, and exposing a pretty amazing, beautiful hardwood ceiling structure that's in there. Um, turning, you know, effectively making a gallery space and then installing the floor into it. Behind the wall, there's a, um, a work which is called The Idea of South. And that's another interactive work um, um, made by Roger Mills and Neil Jenkins. And that's a, it's a beautiful work. It's actually pulled location audio recordings from all over the world. And so they've created this sort of interactive map of the world that you zoom in and out of. And they've got hotspots all over the place. So you click on that little hotspot and you hear the audio from the location. 
you are making your property available in a way that it doesn't cost you anything, you're not incurring any costs, you can basically put onto us or put onto the people who are in the buildings some of the costs that you might otherwise incur. So for people that only own one or two places where the windows are getting kicked in each week, someone getting in there and occupying and keeping it clean and agreeing to, uh, to make it presentable to the public is actually saving them a lot of money. Uh, and that's a big part of what we're trying to pitch to them. If you come here and you do something, if it's an experiment or it's an unusual idea or you know, you're young and you're kind of doing it for the first time, the population here actually supports it, like they nurture what you're doing. From what I've heard of the other projects that are going to happen with the brand new Newcastle, it's really exciting and it'll be good to be part of the, uh, the community. I look forward to that and everyone gets on pretty well. We all support each other. So uh, I just can't wait to see the other hundred or so that will come of it. Like it's a little bit lonely at the moment, but uh, <laughs> that'll change. That'll all change. Yeah. What's interesting about it, I think, is that it bypasses most of the traditional ways that these things are done. I mean, usually, you know, usually arts programs are basically very centric around the idea that, that government builds and owns and manages infrastructure or funds arts organisations to do so. Um, and urban renewal programs are usually about really big, large scale things. Um, you know, you know what's going to happen to an entire block or an entire area or um, they're, they're usually very capital intensive kind of approaches. What's unique about Renew Newcastle is that there's neither of those two things. It's basically about taking something that's a liability, which is all this empty space in the city, and trying to match it with people for whom that's an asset, you know? And I think that's in everyone's interest.